All right, here we go. Number nine, if you're bored or looking for a new project with the family, you might try building your very own Bionic Bird. Oh, oh yeah. Check wow. this out. Festo Bionic Swift looks just like the real thing. The wings it flap, it soars through the air. You mm -hmm. almost forget for a second yeah, you that it's a robot. Yeah. But it is. The bird wow. is strictly for indoor use. That's because it's really lightweight. <laughs> Less than 40 grams, whatever a gram is. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you've got plenty of room in your house. It's still in development oh. stage, but should go on sale it's soon. So is it a Kickstarter? Yeah. Don't worry about your house at this point. You don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Looks real though. And you won't be able to get one. That's wow. what everyone's been looking for is to get a good bird going around their house. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's hard yeah. To a lot of excitement yeah. and slice, slice it, it up. Sunday yep. afternoon. <laughs> you know. All right, uh, number eight. Uh, it was only a matter of time. Uh, but baggy jeans are back in a big way, Larry and Lauren. Huh. They're very OT right now. Some OT. of the styles are full on baggy, like a 90s music video. Others are a little bit more understated. We call those dad jeans or the Larry Potash, mm -hmm. as a lot of the kids are calling them now. They're a bit more relaxed through the legs and thighs. And if you're ready to embrace the, this trend, you might want to try a more fitted shirt. Oh. Unless you're under 20, then <laughs> pile on all the baggy stuff because you're only going to be young once and you might as well live it up. We should bit. bring back the Zumbas instead of that. Those will come. In the 90s, you know? Give it time. Yeah, give and it time. Don't, don't wait for somebody to bring it back, Lauren. Just, Just bring it back. A leader yeah. leads. Bring it back. Yeah, you lead, we'll follow. And we'll that's go. why I wear my jeans that that's are right. comfortable. I don't need it. Right. You know it's coming back. Right. Let me tell you, it's very wrong Yeah. And when the, you're talking about that part yeah, of the... in the jean world, yeah. yeah. You're right about that, Larry, oftentimes. <laughs> All right. Number seven, it's been a stressful year for everyone, especially children, but a new study shows that parents with at least one dog or cat believe their pets have actually helped their kids during the pandemic, especially those with anxiety and depression. 85% said having a pet in the house made virtual learning more enjoyable. They also said pets helped improve their child's mood, boost their confidence, and help teach them responsibility. And they credit dogs, especially providing more opportunities for physical activity. Next. All right, number six, Justin Bieber and wife Haley Baldwin like to fly under the radar when they're on vacation. So they rent quaint, understated little hideaways like this one in Hawaii. It's called Water Falling Estate on the Big Island, which offers wow. some of the most stunning views you'll ever see. And its very own private waterfall, 10,000 square feet on 10 acres of land, and it rents for about $10,000 a night. So it's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Very. Just a little something. It's understated. Oh. Luxury. That's the you gotta life. Keep it understated. <laughs> and number five, the Christ the Redeemer statue has looked over Rio de Janeiro since 1931. It is 98 feet tall with one arm, uh, with an arm span rather of 92 feet. By the end of this year, there will be an even taller one in Brazil. The new statue called Christ the Protector will be 140 feet tall. It's currently being built by the Friends of Christ Association and will be located in a small town in the south of the region. And the hope is that it brings more tourists to the area. It will have an elevator in the middle where people can take it up and look around and take pictures of the valley below. The new statue will be the third tallest statue of Jesus in the world, following ones in Poland, and there is another one in Mexico. Mm -hmm. All right, number four. Yesterday, we told you about how popular meatloaf was oh, in the yeah. 40s, but let's go back a little further to a popular depression dish, hot dogs and potatoes. I didn't know that. It was a favorite in the 30s because both items were so inexpensive. Yeah. Here's the recipe. Take a potato, cube it, and fry it up with some oil in a pan. Okay, so hold on. I'm writing this down. Okay. Yep. Add onion okay. for taste mm. and keep frying until it's brown. Uh, mm. Then add chopped hot dogs and cook for a little while longer. Why, it's simple. Cheap, delicious, easy to make. Of course, we didn't give you the details about what's in a hot dog. Right. Because then you might think twice about eating well, that. Well, listen, that's why it's the cheapest one out there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious nonetheless. All right. Number three, we won't call this a hack, but it's a pretty cool way to make a homemade ice cream sandwich. Oh, all right. What's going on Is this here? Is one of those cake things? No. All right. 
Wow, you gotta have a good sturdy knife there. Yeah. I see what they're saying. You Seems cut like it while saber. it's still in there, that keeps it the shape that you okay. want it to be. Uh, yeah, I think it, Oh, look, and then just leave oh. the plastic. And then unwrap oh, that it. That is a very large wow. ice cream sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty the American big version. Ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Well, isn't that lovely? Nice. Innovative. Yeah. Well, folks at Ben and Jerry's ought to send us a crate mm -hmm. full of that stuff for that little free commercial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Send You're us welcome. the cookie dough. Thank I'm sure you. it's on their way. Uh, number two, uh, would you dare take a walk on the Rui Bridge in China? Ooh, that looks it's like a fun. It's bending mm -hmm. glass bottom bridge. It's yeah. the length of three football fields, about 450 feet above a gorge. It's been open to visitors since last September. After a former Canadian astronaut posted some video of it on Twitter, many people thought it wasn't real, that it was a CG, but it's uh, real, and it's become a huge tourist huh. attraction. Now, don't they put up like skyscrapers in a day in China? It yeah. always makes me yeah, nervous. It's like bridges that they have. We should need to do like a montage of all these crazy bridges. It's something like wild. Yeah. Number one, the past Saturday was a 21st anniversary of the all-time greats. The more cowbell sketch on SNL. We'll watch a clip, but first a quick side note. A woman who worked in wardrobe that day tweeted, I was there for the fitting. We told Will Ferrell it was too small and we'd <laughs> find him another sweater. He said no. This is perfect. It is a perfect fit. Take a look. <laughs> come on, Jim! No, no, come on! Steve! That, no, that, that, it doesn't work for me. I gotta have more cowbell. <laughs> Don't blow this for us, Gene! Could be, could be so selfish, Gene. Can I just say one thing? Say it, baby, just say it. I'm standing here staring at rock legend Bruce Dickinson. I'm a cock and a walk, baby. And if Bruce Dickinson wants more cowbell, we should probably give him more cowbell. Say it, baby. And Bobby, you are right, I am being selfish. But the last time I checked, we don't have a whole lot of songs that feature the cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. And I'd be doing myself a disservice and every member of this band if I didn't perform the hell out of this. Guess what? I got a fever, <laughs> and the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> thank you, Bruce. But I think, if, I think if, I, if I just leave and I'll, maybe I'll come back later, we can lay down the cowbell. Come on, baby. Gene, wait. <laughs> Why don't you lay down that cowbell right now with us together? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean that, Eric? Oh, yeah. Space for all of us. Yeah. Thank you. Babies, yeah. before we're done here, y'all be wearing gold-plated diapers. What does that mean? Never question <laughs> Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> Roll it. Everything walk-in touches turns oh, to gold. Oh, so good. One, two, three. So good. That's the nine at nine. Na 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 na